Two families are remembering a gift of life that came out of a tragedy two years ago. That's right, a fire initially ripped through that home on the city's east side back in February of 2014. All six members of the Guerra family were killed. The family made the tough decision to donate their loved one's organs. That act brought hope to 20 people across eight different states. Now, one of those recipients is giving back to the family in a way that they never expected. RTV6's Eric Cox has the story. At just six years old, Liam Sprague has already been through a lot. A few years back, he was diagnosed with a rare condition called restrictive cardiomyopathy and was in need of a heart transplant. Liam was eventually blessed with a heart, but it came at a great cost. He received the organ from six-year-old Fuentes Guerra, the youngest of six family members to die in an east side house fire two years ago. In the time of our tragedy, you know, we have to think of others. Where's Fuentes at? David Guerra is Fuentes' uncle. He says the donation's done more than simply saved Liam's life. It's created a close-knit bond between the two families. Uh, you. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to have him yes. in the progress he's went through from the first day we met them. We just want people to know this is what organ donation looks like. You not only saved a life, you created a bond between two families. And as Liam traces the name of the boy who gave him a second chance at life, you can tell it's a gift remembered. In Indianapolis, Eric Cox, RTV6. Great to see. Thank you, Eric. Right now, there are more than 120,000 people on a waiting list for a life-saving organ. 18 of them die each and every day. For more information, head to the IndyChannel.com or the story through the RTV6 app and click the hot button. Happening tomorrow.